Hello folks and welcome back. Uh, Master Chief here with another tip for you lovely uh, simulator market, supermarket simulator uh, modders and those that want to try mods and stuff like that. I've got a beautiful tip for y'all today. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show y'all how to make a backup of your vanilla game. Okay. And then run that backup of your vanilla game as a modded version of the game so if you like how this sounds definitely continue watching the video because I'm going to show y'all how to do that so over here I have on the right side I have a uh, folder open called games over on the left side in this window I have my steam library steam apps common supermarket simulator uh, game directory so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up one folder right here okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, left click on copy, come over here, and this over here on the right is just where I have it located on my computer, but it can be anywhere on your computer that you want to have, uh, any hard drive that you have available to do so. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paste, and we're going to let that copy over, okay? Um, go ahead and get Steam loaded up. Uh, because it doesn't have no effect whatsoever and all that stuff on it. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a few things on how to get it to where it will actually load up with Steam and stuff like that. It's a little trick that uh, us mod uh, developers, we do from time to time for various games like Seven Days to Die, Imperium Galactic Survival, just to name a few. Um, we run multiple copies on our computers and all that of the same copy of the original game that we own okay so don't be doing this with pirated games and all that because none of us that i am affiliated with to include myself agree or support any forms of piracy all right so once you do that okay you got your file copied over there it is a clean copy of your vanilla version of your um supermarket simulator game all right now what do you what you want to do now is you want to go up here to the games tab and then you want to come down here it says add a non-steam game to my library okay we're going to go and then we're going to browse okay we're going to go to g and in, in my case it's going to be g actually i'm sorry it's going to be f uh and then we're going to go to the one that you just copied over there, which will be this folder right here. And then we're going to double click and we're going to go inside that folder. Then we're going to go right here and we're going to find the executable file, which is supermarket simulator.exe. And then we're going to click open. And then it should, uh, well, it didn't do it. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. And now, now it should have it selected right there for you. Once you do that, all you have to do is just add selected uh, file to library. And then you come down here to your uh, thing. And you should now have two. Um, let me see. Let me make sure that this is the one that uh, I want to. All right. That is my Steam main. Okay. This in here, the top and right here, that is going to be my uh, last one that I've made. And I'll tell you how I know that. Because when you come to browse local files, it'll come to, okay, that's my main game. Okay, let's go back to this and right here. Uh, Come on, click it. There you go. Okay, see, it has none of this stuff right here. Um, I didn't want to uh, run the game. Stupid. <laughs> so this uh <clears throat> kind of went wonky. Stop. All right. That th this is the one. If you click this one, see how it has all this other stuff. Uh, come to this one. It doesn't have that. Uh, and then when we go to manage browse local files, it uh it brings up your Steam folder itself. Okay. So that's how you know the difference between your vanilla version and the one that you just made a copy of. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, left click on properties, 
And for all intents and purposes, we're just going to make uh, that our copy version. Okay. Now, with that uh, said, we're done here. Okay. And you can go ahead and uh, click on play and it, it'll load up just like uh, your normal game does and stuff like that. So basically all you did is you just made a copy of your vanilla game over to another location outside of the Steam library itself. Uh, in this case, it's uh, my F drive or G drive, F drive, whichever one it is. Uh, you basically made a copy of your game. And then you added it to your Steam to where it shows up in your Steam and stuff like that. You can YouTube how to make copies of your Steam library. There's all kinds of videos on the uh, internet on how to do that. So uh, with that being said, we're just waiting on it to load up. And because I'm recording, it's going to take a little bit longer because recording seems to take a lot of uh, effort and stuff like that. Now, the only... Uh, bad feature about this is it will load from your original games game save location which is in your app data local roaming so forth stuff like that see as you can tell this your vanilla game okay yep your vanilla game all right so i'm gonna go ahead and quit now the reason I had y'all make this copy, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down right here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it because I have one right here. All right, so I'm going to rename mine main backup. I'm going to put it back to the original uh, supermarket simulator name folder, okay? Because it does cause problems and stuff like that. So definitely you want to keep the name the same. Now, I'm going to go into the copy that I just showed y'all how to make. And if you look in here versus your vanilla game, if you look in here, this here um, is the my modded version of the game. Okay, S simulator market game. Okay, and if you go, uh, uh, for example, BPNX and go into plugins, there's all of the mods that I have installed. Five tier shelf, better cashier, disable shelves, market uh, anyways, uh, or market always open, uh, more freezers, narrow five tier shelf, narrow rack, narrow shelf, portable scanner, quieter cars, resizable labels, uh, was that restock indicator, smart pocket boxes, store delivery, unrestricted placement. That's the uh, mods that are made for uh bip and x okay now if you go to your this here is your melon loader folder right here if you go into that folder and then go into the mods folder here's the better checkout choices better save system which if you do this like i showed you how to do in this video you want to download the mod better save system from nexus mods i get all of my mods from nexus mods nowhere else uh, if i don't make them myself i download them from nexus mods but better save and i'm going to show you why uh here in a minute check out dark themes easy delivery uh john x essentials no no max order limit that allows you to order more than 10 items per limit no overriding labels like um everybody knows that the default game vanilla game goes in and whenever you have a product in your hand and say you have coffee on the shelf in front of you and the product in your hand is bread and regardless if it's on the store shelves or in the stock room if you left click you'll throw the uh, product on the uh, tag that's labeled coffee if the shelf is empty and it'll change the tag so that's that a lot that that mod keeps you from doing that accidentally like if you're in the store room or, or the stock room stocking shelves and stuff like that well you want over right where you have places for those that like to have things really uh, uh nice and neat and clean and stuff like that they have their own specific places so that's what that mod's more for uh let's see here <clears throat> rdc tweak now you will not be able to get this version of this mod the version that you will be able to get will be rdc 
RDC Tweaker, but not RDC Tweak. Uh, that mod is no longer available on the Nexus uh, workplace and stuff like that. So, or the Nexus mod page. So, uh, uh, a lot of us have the original copy of that. Um, the reason the dev took that down, or not the dev, but the uh, creator of the mod took that down is because a lot of people were running into issues with the mod. Uh, I and all of my other colleagues have never had no issues with the mod and stuff like that. Um, a lot of things, what I have been noticing through uh, the uh, games, um, the games, actual discord as a lot of people what i've been in there trying to help each and every one of y'all sort that stuff out a lot of what i'm not seeing is the the game requires dot net framework files to be updated you need those updated your c plus plus redistribution files need to be updated your direct x files need to be updated all of these things you know, for all of y'all that like to turn off your Windows updates and stuff like that, well, you kind of shoot yourself in the foot because Windows updates, unfortunately, goes hand in hand with the .NET framework work, or um, I think it's like 4.8 something now. Uh, it may be 4.9 now. Uh, your C++ redistribution files. Your DirectX files, all of these things along with your Windows updates go hand in hand. And if you're one of those that don't like Windows to be updated and all that, well, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. There's nothing that I can do to help you other than tell you update your files, guys. Update your graphics card drivers, you know, for you hard-headed folks that don't like to update your stuff because, oh my gosh, Microsoft is spying on you. Guys, they've been spying on you since Windows 3.1. Get over it. This is just it is what it is. You know, it's nothing new there. So, you know, with that being said, there's nothing we can help you. If you if you can't update your file system, th there's nothing that we can do to help you. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just telling you the facts, you know. But anyhow, uh, so the, the game, the game engine, the mods, all of them, they go hand in hand with each other and stuff like that. You know, they need those updates and stuff like that. So. I can't stress that enough. All right, moving on. Uh, Stock Manager, that's another mod. Uh, storage Expansion, this is the first version of Storage Expansion. Um, not, not, this is not the ex uh, expansion version. This is the older version. Um, this one does not include the upstairs section of the Storage Expansion. Uh, if you want that, certainly get it. You know, um, your choice. Uh, store customizer. This is the mod that lets you change the colors of your walls, your floors, your shelves, things of that nature. Even change the name on the front of your sign and stuff like that. Uh, the to do statistics. Um, I don't remember what that is off the top of my head. But anyhow, so with that being said, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close these out, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, this here is, uh, we don't no longer need that because remember, I did, well, you will still need that. I don't need it because this is my version of that. Uh, supermarket simulator mod. That's the modded version that I showed you that I went in and rechanged my file folder back to supermarket simulator. This is my modded version. Now, if you remember whenever I told you earlier about the mod that I have better save mod, this is this, this is why I'm telling you to, to have that mod on this if you have any other mods have the uh i think it's toby's b pin x slash melon loader slash whatever i don't remember it off the top of my head have that mod and at the very least have the better saved mod because if you notice my screens are different because the better save mod allows me to create a totally different uh save uh the only save that i have in here right at the moment is chief's grocery store if you notice up there i've got chief's grocery store in blue letters okay now if you notice i also have a spot right home my cash register where i'm doing this for a a client of mine where they can share their the names of their stream donators and stuff like that who donates uh, go in here and fill that out um, no, folks, you're not going to get this mod. It's not going to be available for you to allow you 
to, to do that. This is specific, custom tailored to that end. All right, so this is, um, if you notice, I started a new game, new save, and all that stuff. Um, here's something else, too. I also have the mod where uh, I can turn that on closed. Um, if I'm closed, I can uh, press my U key and open the door. I don't remember the name of that mod, folks, but, you know, you can get the mod and all that stuff yourself. Um, this here is not normally open to you because I have the doors mod. Uh, it opens and closes, so it kind of allows me to have that earlier in, in game and all that stuff. But so that is a nice little tutorial on how you can. I can go ahead and save it. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's how you can uh, um, make a copy of your game and then take and mod the copy of said game the said copy that you just made to where you can play with mods while you still have your original that is unmodded you see where i'm going with this folks so you have two versions of the game you have your original vanilla that way it receives updates whenever they come out for love of god and all that is holy and those that don't believe in god stop asking when is the next update when is the next update if you read the rules in the discord it plainly says it will be posted in the announcements channel when it comes out i see i literally see that same question at least and i'm not exaggerating a thousand posts a day okay <laughs> just just stop just be patient this is an early access game the devs quite aware of the bugs and all this stuff going on with it Please don't bug him and harass him. It's only a one-man individual that is making this game. And he's trying to do his best. And I'm pretty sure, like most of us, we have families and real-life things that we got to do and stuff like that. You know, like pay the bills and, and, and cook our own food and all that stuff. Uh, but be that as it may, you know, please don't go hound and harass him. Because by doing that... I could see where that would make me want to just say, you know what, fuck y'all, and just throw my hands up and walk away. Gratefully, the dev has not done that. He is not going to do that. I was just saying that to make a statement because there's a such thing as being too naggy or entitled, guys. This is a beautiful game, beautiful concept. It has went through the roof on, on, on as far as getting out there and stuff like that. Let's help him help us you understand what i'm saying let's let's be a team let's work together let's not try to be needy or clingy or entitled this is an early access game folks so just keep that in mind for those of y'all that don't know what an early access game is it is a game that is released in 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 kind of like a testing phase while it is the full game it still has and is prone to bugs glitches and so on and so forth now, over the course of time, the dev or developers, dev in this case, is working tirelessly in the background to fix these bugs. That way, you, the end user, will have a better product ultimately in the end. Does that make sense? So, guys, please be patient with the dev. Give, give them that respect. Give them that, you know, credit where he has so deserved it. Don't go nagging him and, and, and getting all mad and causing fights and all that stuff. Um, there are guys like me in the Discord, uh, women also, uh, that you know are more than glad to help you and stuff like that. Um, the disc, the games Discord. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The games Discord does not have modding support from any of the moderators or the the games devs. Or anything like that. Uh, there are a few members in the Discord that are not moderators or game developers and stuff like that that are working on the game. Like I said, it's only one guy uh, that do offer uh, mod support and stuff like that on a light basis. Uh, don't expect us to share any links or nothing like that. The moderators has graciously allowed us to be able to help y'all at a limited capacity of you know let's respect their discord and things that they've asked of us and all that stuff so that being said guys i hope y'all enjoy this video and i hope this video helps y'all and i hope this video answers some questions and all that stuff and 
Guys, let's just all try to have fun and enjoy this beautiful game. And as always, happy gaming.